Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Judge Angel's All Stars Show. I'm Judge Angel and all of you are stars. Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining us. You guys are blessing us in a mighty way. Thank you. Thank you all stars. We're having so much fun today. We've got some guests that you are going just to fall in love with. They're givers, they're leaders, they're community activists. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. I'm Judge Angel, and I was his full-time sitting judge for over two decades. I've seen a few things, but there's good in everyone. And we are here to motivate and encourage you to be all stars. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome. Yes, we are back and we have a great guest for you, Mr. Joey Smith, who is an author and he has written a book called Da Da. Now, you need to remember, I am afraid of wind. I am afraid of thunder. Everything <laughs> drives me to go home, that's my remedy, and go to bed. That's what my grandmother taught me. So, Joey, you're going to have to help me. Uh, for your book well it's called the crone and what i did is i did a play on you know in mythology the crone was always um to an older woman um who was like the soothsayer the the woman of all eyes and she told the fortunes so i used the crone as a metaphor in my book for the main character in the book okay is that what uh, created your interest in writing a paranormal book? Yes. Uh, someone you had met in real life? Uh, I The character in my book um, was actually a character in real life. Um, Is that right? I used my three-year-old perception of her to uh, use in the book. So how I describe her in the book and how she looks, her presence, even her voice, um, I used all of that. That is wonderful. So you met a person and they influenced you until today and you're writing about them. That is beautiful. What kind of positive things did you get from her? It, being three years old, at that time she was 112. That's all. That's all. She had to say, <laughs> hey, that girl knew some things, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she was a very tall lady. She lived across the street from my grandparents, and she was actually best friends with my great-grandmother. And she would come out every morning, and, she, and, and at that time, she must have still been like about 5'11", a tall woman, come out with her cane, her big walking stick. Uh -huh. And she would check her mail, and then she would see us, and then she'd make her way across the street. But when she talked, her voice was like this when she talked, and it was mm. very deep. Yeah. And because she was very old, she had whiskers and she had hair on her chest. So that scared me. <laughs> you, that scared me when I was little because I wasn't used to seeing that. Yeah. And that's what, again, I used that uh, description of her in the book. Wonderful, wonderful. And you yourself, you're so positive, so uplifting and inspiring all the time. How many books have you written thus far? So I have a total of seven. Two are out now, the Crone Book 1 and the Crone Book 2. Okay, good for you. And number but three is going to be released shortly. Wonderful, but they're all written? Already done. What? Hey, is he organized? <laughs> We'll be back to talk about how to how not to procrastinate. That's what it will be. It's it's like that movie, Build It and They Will Come. Yes, so I just yes. wrote it and then afterwards was able to secure my publishing. Wow, that is so great. So book two is out. Yes. And it and it's the crone, does she continue teaching you in book two? Co correct. She actually is in all four there's the first four books are all the crone series okay and then the other books are different stories are there any vampires or no i don't hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> i don't write about any um, vampires or zombies or you know any kind of 
blood or guts type of thing. I use the imagination and let you fill in the blanks. Wonderful, wonderful. So actually, we're sort of uh, getting to learn about the Crohn's wisdom and life lessons Correct. that you were able to discern as you as a young person. Correct. I, I say you hate her in the first two books. Uh -oh. The third books, you're like, oh, okay, maybe she's okay. By the fourth book, which is a prequel to the first three books, you are in love with her and you understand why she is the way she is. Oh, my gosh, you're going to make me read a scary book. <laughs> but, you know, when you were saying that, isn't that how life is? You know, uh as an infant, you love your parents. And then when you get to be teens, you think they, you know more than they do and you sort of despise them. You want to go in your room and shut the door. You don't want them behind you. Then as you get older, start having children of your own, you realize, hmm, they're smart. <laughs> Mom and dad are smart. <laughs> they know a little something too. Right. That is so great. <laughs> now, um, somebody told us, and I cannot reveal the person, they said, you sleep with lights on? Oh, yes. In your um, room at night? It has affected me um, in my adulthood. Um, I was terrorized from as early as I can remember by the unknown. I've been bitten, pushed, scratched, slapped, stuff thrown at me. Um, I grew up with this all of my life. And um, now, um, as an adult, there is not one dark room in my house. Wow. So all night long, there's lights in each room? Night lights, correct. Oh, okay. So they were pretty violent toward you. They... <laughs> the, well, I, I don't understand why me. And, and when you're a young child, you don't, um, you know, you, you go to your parents for help. It wasn't until later on in my adulthood that other other family members were speaking up, oh, okay, which prompted me to to write the book. So um, I do use those scenarios in the books. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you've taught me something already, which is uh, on certain nights. I can think I hear my husband coming in the room, and and the bed will bounce but he won't be in there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, okay, ghost. Right. You better be friendly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you <I've>, know, love. <laughs> I've learned to deal with those visits. Um, as an adult now, I'm calmer. Um, I, I don't react, you know, suddenly to when things happen because they still happen. E e e presently, they still happen. Wow, wow. And I think some of us, we tend to think those are the, the good spirits of our ancestors who, who watch over us and guide us. And so is it pretty easy to write a book? Some people only get one book out in a lifetime and you have seven. <laughs> well, um, I was, I, you know, early on I went to college and, and got my degree in psychology. So I'm always telling everybody, my advice to them is, is when they're having, you know, emotional issues, sit down. If you don't want to talk to anybody, you sit down and you write a letter to yourself, write a letter to the loved one. And I went through a bout of, of having cancer. And mm. after surgery, I could not, I was not mobile. So mm. I sat there with my pen and paper and Four chapters later, I'm like, hey, this could turn into something. <laughs> so I'm writing books. <laughs> I started doing an investigation about, you know, how, how to seek out a publisher. And uh, again, with things falling on your lap, it was the first year that they were holding the Horror Writers Association here in Las Vegas. I slithered in. <laughs> I can't say who... Who let me in? But I slithered in and I was able to secure um, a, a publisher. Oh, sure. I had four minutes. I call that God. When the door is just open before, you don't know how. That is so wonderful. Well, Joey, I thank you for broadening my horizon. I am going to read the book, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you will, too. Sounds very intriguing. 
we can always learn. I like to say, you know, everybody can teach us something. Yeah. And that is great. Hopefully my characters that I chose in all of my manuscripts, um, my characters have inf afflictions. Um, as in Danny, Danny Lynn in the Crone series, she is a high functioning Down syndrome mm. uh, character. And um, she has that Oprah aha moment where she realized she has a gift because she's clairvoyant mm. and then she starts using it. Um, I think it's important for the small public to have a, someone that they can look up to, um, you know, growing up a man of color, I had no one to look at on screen. I had no one to emulate. I hear you. Right. Yes. And it was a little lion with a, heavy accent that's all i had to on a children's show mm -hmm. so hopefully you know the the down syndrome community is making such strides we have their lawyers their beauty queens their right. actresses and you know this gives them a, a to look up in a movie or in a, in a book or a series and say hey that person looks like me i can do that absolutely Absolutely. All things are possible, for sure. Joy, thank you so much, and we expect you to come back. I would this, love to come uh, back. This first series, yeah. uh, we will look forward to hearing about the second series. Please Very come good. back. I would. It would be my pleasure. Okay, you're part of our family. Don't you forget okay. it. Okay. We're hounding you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you in a minute. Are you enjoying the show? Stay with us because we have a lot more coming up. Do you suffer from back, neck, hip, joint pain, or headaches? Is your quality of life not what it used to be? Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, or just someone who needs relief, Dr. Robert O'Dell and his friendly staff at the Neuropathy and Pain Centers of Las Vegas have helped thousands of patients relieve their pain. Dr. O'Dell has pioneered several personalized non-surgical treatment solutions for acute and chronic pain. So stop living in pain and get back into the game. Call 702-257-PAIN, that's 702-257-PAIN, or go to nvpainrelief.com. My name is Mike Faust. I'm an independent broker owner of a First Choice Business Brokers franchise. I've been helping people buy and sell businesses for 17 years. If you're a business owner, whether you think a disposition of your business is right around the corner or years down the road, I can give you a very good idea of what the market value of your business is today, or I may be able to give you suggestions on how you could improve the value of your business for when you are finally ready to sell. Call me. I'm looking forward to working with you. Welcome back to another motivational moment for all you stars. Keep sending these in. We love them. Here's one we got. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. 